operative risk actually it's made mainly the the risk of infection there and of course you have kind of have a superficial inf infection that can be dealt with antibiotics but the worst case scenario is that you have you have to expand the whole system there but again i i think but now is again of course you need to have good uh dps team and that kind of lowers the risk of of the infection but again that is something that that is reversible there and 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 in the beginning there was like a lot of fear that that because now in contrast to other forms of neuromodulation we go here with the atd based therapy through the ventricles and actually there are like some veins you pass there and there was some fear from the functional neurosurgeons that you could puncture these vessels and go cause brain hemorrhage but actually that's something that seems to be uh, like almost non existent there so that 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 fear has dissipated then we have uh, these uh, stimulation related problems and 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 those are again like something you can respond to by 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 programming but it's just like very important to know before and inform the patient that sometimes things can happen for instance you might get sudden depression based on the stimulation chases or something some uh, some other psychiatric problems but again this is something that that you can warn the patient beforehand and if, if these things happen you can respond to them by by reprogramming so i would say that 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 these uh, let's say the permanent damage is almost like non existent here and we have to separate these these kind of the surgery related problems that are also like something that we 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 can handle and then of course the stimulator the related uh, problems that that again like those are uh, those are perfectly manageable but you have to be aware of these possibilities and of course like when we started the therapy you really didn't know everything because you usually so that that you have the randomized control trial but you include only a subgroup of patients there and then when you have a wider patient population you you see that different unexpected things can happen but i would say that to be to be happy to say that that actually now after uh, almost like 13 years of ATDPS therapy uh, i think like the the safety side is something that is very well established there